Now I have a list. X equals squares. 0, comma, 1, comma, 2, comma, 3. Squares. And hit enter. What's an X? 0, 1, 2, and 3. I want to print those out in reverse order. So what do I do? For I in... Uh, Mr. X, take the reversed order of yourselves, column, and print out each one of those guys as I goes through that iteration. So for I in the reversal of X reversed, print out I. I hit enter, and I should get, and I do, 3, 2, 1, 0. But this reverse doesn't actually give me a list. It just allows me to iterate through the reversal of this list, X. What if I really want another list? X is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3. What if we keyed in uh, Y equals... Uh, listen, uh, system, I want you to do me a favor. Make a list out of something. It says, uh, what would you like me to make a list out of? Well, I'd like you to take uh, the reversed of X. The reversed of X and make a list out of that. Take the reversed of x, 3, 2, 1, 0. Make a list out of that, and call that list y. That would be good. Hit enter. Now, what's in y? 3, 2, 1, 0. Now, for i in y colon, print i. And now it iterates through the list. Wow. You could even take that one step further. Here I key in x equals 0, 1, 2, 3 in squares. Now it's a list. Now for i in, make a list out of the reversed of x, and then iterate through this guy, and then print i. And you'll get 3, 2, 1, and 0. If you key in x, you're still using the original order. But temporarily, a list was created in memory. It wasn't assigned a name, so ultimately it gets garbage collected, and it prints out each element as it iterates through it. And that's all I want to talk about today. This is George Bull. If you like this video, please rate it by clicking on the like button. I would deeply appreciate that, and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.